So a federal judge has just rebuked Mueller's team for their claims in the report that the Russian trolls that posted on Facebook we keep hearing about were actually directed by Putin or connected to the Russian government. This judge claims that there is no proof of that and they need to stop making these claims publicly, both Mueller and his team or even the attorney general at this point. This is a huge story because one of the things that upsets me is how we just accept things critically without seeing any proof. How many times will intel agents lie to us like Libya, Syria, Iraq, and on and on and on, where they continue to lie to us, but we're told, oh, you just have to believe them unthinkingly. Both the Republicans and Democrats repeat this lie over and over. Yes, Putin sent out these Russian trolls. One on face value, it's silly, as I've been arguing. A few Russia Facebook tr trolls outweighed half a trillion dollars dollars of advertising the mainstream media the entertainment sector etc all weighing in on the election it makes no sense but now what's even worse is people just assert oh they're russian therefore they must have operated at the behest of putin that's absurd you would never do that with the united states or the uk or any other country but in russia if any russian does anything it must have been putin behind it well it turns out people just repeated that verbatim because you know Mueller said it that's what all the media was saying. Yeah, it was Putin that sent these trolls out. And it turns out this judge says, actually, they can't make those claims publicly anymore because there is zero evidence for it. So let's read from this judge's decision that was just released yesterday. We'll start here. The special counsel report describes efforts by the Russian government to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. See also the report, blah, blah, blah. Russian intelligence officers based on the alleged hacking and leaking of private documents belong to Democrat officials. But the indictment, which alleges that a private Russian entities and individuals conducted an information warfare campaign designed to sow discord among U.S. voters, does not link the defendants to the Russian government. Do you, do you get that? Private Russian entities and individuals conducting information warfare to sow discord does not link them to the Russian government. Save for a single allegation that Concord, which is this group that's defending these Russian trolls, or they're part of the Russian trolls, save for the single allegation that Concord and Concord Catering had several government contracts with no further elaboration, the indictment alleges only private conduct by private actors. Now that might surprise you. Haven't you been told by the media, by Republicans, and by Democrats over and over, the Russians interfered in our election, they sent these trolls out to interfere in our election? What turns out, no, there's no proof of that. There's one just allegation, hey, some of these people had a contract, a catering contract with the Russian government at some point, and nothing elaborated on it. That's it. That's the extent of their proof. One of them was hired by the government at one point to do catering. That's it. That's the only proof they give, yet that's been repeated to you verbatim over and over and over again. As pro see, the Russians interfered. That's just it. Let's go on and see what this says. It says, the report, however, identifies the social media efforts alleged in the indictment as one of, quote, two principal interference operations in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, end quote, carried out by the Russians. Special counsel report and other issues. The report also refers to the defendants as social media operations and active measures, a term of art that typically refers to operations conducted by Russian security services aimed at influencing the Court of International Affairs. Elsewhere, the report states that the defendant, Prozenzin, sorry, I butchered that, is widely reported to have ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin. And more successfully, uh, significantly, the concluding paragraph of the section of the report related to Concord states that the special counsel's investigation established that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election through active measure social media campaign carried out by Concord's co-defendant, the IRA, or the Internet Research Agency. By attributing the IRA conduct to Russia, as opposed to just Rus Russian individuals or entities, the report suggests suggests that the activities alleged in the indictment were undertaken on behalf of, if not the direction of, the Russian government. Do you see what this is saying? There is no proof. These were private individuals. There's no proof whatsoever that this was at the direction of the Russian government. Now people say, yeah, we know Russia did it. Yeah, Russia's evil. That's absurd. There's no proof other than their allegations. Oh, this catering company once had a contract with the Russian government. Now imagine if that was done on behalf of the United States. Imagine if some, like, pro-LGBT people that hate Putin for his stance on the LGBT decide to be trolls and start interfering, making all kinds of crazy troll Facebook posts to interfere in the, the Russia's government. How would we feel if it, all of a sudden those people got busted and Russia was saying, that was an attack by the United States itself? No, it's just some individuals within the United States. 
But in the name of going after the Russia boogeyman, Mueller and his team just assert, yes, yes, it was Russia, with no evidence whatsoever. Such little evidence that this judge said Mueller can no longer and his team can no longer say those things in public because there's no proof of them and it's slandering these defendants. Now think of the implications of this. If Mueller lied about this, what else did he lie about? I've been talking to you over and over for all the things that Mueller did wrong. Hired a bunch of people that worked for the Clinton Foundation before. Destroyed phones that had or deleted the information on text messages of Strzok and Page after he knew that they were saying shady things about Trump. He refused to look into the dossier, which supposedly was sourced by Russians. If he was looking into Russian interference, why wouldn't he look into the dossier that was people connected to the Kremlin feeding false information to the Democrats? And now we know, as we've seen several times before, that he mistook quotes to get people like Trump's attorney, John Dowd, to make him look worse. Now we see that he's just alleging Russian interference with no proof whatsoever. How can we believe any of the garbage he says in this? So it's a very significant story. All these people that just want to shout Russia, Russia, Russia. Some polls I read from June say that over 50% of people and over that percentage of Democrats, or over 50% of Democrats, I'm sorry, believe that R Trump conspired or Trump's team conspired illegally with Russians to interfere with the 2016 election. Despite Mueller coming out and saying, no, that's not the case. They'll believe any crap. We now know the Republicans and Democrats have been repeating verbatim. All oh, the Russians attack us. Uh, Putin sent out these trolls. It's not true. Or at least we don't have evidence of it. So stop allowing these repetitions to occur over and over of people that aren't looking at evidence. I would like to see evidence that Russia was the ones who hacked the DNC in the first place. Never forget, the DNC would not allow the FBI to look at the servers. Instead, they relied on a company they paid for, CrowdStrike, to give this information to the FBI. So this is a damning story for the Russia narrative that how bad Russia interfered. Could it just be possible that some Russians not directed by the government interfered? Or are we so bigoted towards Russians that we think, oh, no Russians could operate on their own. It all had to be at the direction of Vladimir Putin. <clears throat> so a really important story that I re recommend, I'll link this document. You can read the whole document itself. But a federal judge has ruled there is no proof whatsoever that these Russian trolls were being controlled by the Russian government or Putin. So, hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be putting out more content throughout the week as we go on. And you can follow me at Nor Robert on Twitter. So thanks a lot and have a good one.